KFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finished down 366. NASDAQ off 139. S&P's off 47. Gold. Gold contract down $10.70, trading at 1812 an ounce. We had silver down 53 cents, $23.68 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 93 cents, $78.60 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note traded down four ticks, 112.06. The 30 year off 11 ticks at 124.31. And the 10 year right now, folks, yielding 3.879. On its way back up to 4%. King dollar, King dollar up 367 ticks, trading 104,545, Euro 106, Yen 131.49, British pound at 120 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the S&P first, bottom line. We have a daily plus a weekly ABC structure on the way down, and believe it or not, this is pretty amazing, but this is when I was talking about the next cliffs coming. We actually got an expansion in the S&P today. And this must have just come in. Let me just look at this, man. Someone threw something at this, man. This is a big one. There you go. They threw it at them. Look at, look at these numbers. Yeah, it's, so at the close, yeah, it's not that much. 1.5 million, yeah. The bottom line is that you had the expansion. So there's, there's volume on, in there. NDX 100, this is a closing low for the NDX 100, folks. The, the three Qs. Uh, the bottom line is that it's, you have a price projection of 244. When we had the October lows, the close of the October lows, folks, was 268. We did trade the 254, but this is a closing low, as is the closing low inside the NASDAQ composite. You take a look at the composite, same type of setup. So the bottom line is that means the portfolios, mark to market, are going to be the lowest that they've ever been if you're inside the composite or the NDX 100. The composite, the closing low, of the day of the low was 10,649, and we are 400 and approximately 45 points below that right now. Yeah, you heard that correct, okay? Um, pretty amazing. That's, that's this closing lows, man. Now let's go look at the yen, because we were talking about the yen before, because that, my take is the dollar is bouncing, and if you take a look at the yen, you can see the yen never broke its low that big day, that low there was 130.58. The low that didn't break was 130.41, and now we're at 134. This again is going right back to upside, man. Wild. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Yeah, look at him, folks. Sharpening.